hello and welcome to today's episode of viva video today we'll be talking about um, uh, today is all about fish actually today is going to be all about fish and uh, you know catfish in, spe- in particular we're talking about catfish you know let me take you down to my little pond uh, it's well it's it's a uh, this is my first time actually going into uh, catfish farming. It's uh, it's quite an experience, though. Uh, I got the idea from uh, a renowned, uh, you know, fish fish mugu. I would call it like a mugu as a dish of fish, everything fish. You might see his uh, works on Facebook. This is uh, my first fish academy. That is the handle on Facebook anyway. I learned a lot from him and uh, you know, I decided to do 18 or two about uh, mine. Look at uh, what I used in constructing mine. It's a plastic uh, GP tank, about 1,200 liters, you know. Uh, it was divided into two and uh, I start, though I'm still a learner, there are so many things I, I'm trying to understand. I don't know if you can see them. These are about uh, three weeks in my farm. You know, I got them at the, not the fingerlings, the juvenile. I got a juvenile. I don't, uh, I was scared in getting the fingerlings. I really don't know if I would be able to, you know, take care of them or, you know, how they are going to fare and all that. But, well, well as we were saying, I, I'm still experimenting, trying to get a feel of it, but I don't know if you can see there are some fatalities inside. I have about two fatalities. They used to eat each other. I really, I watched it on YouTube that they eat each other, they do this and that. I never really, I was like, wow, are you serious? These fish are going to eat each other. But I'm very, very surprised the way they act. If you dare have an injury inside a fish pond, a fish having an injury inside a fish pond, you are going to be eating like they don't even have mercy on you they just start picking on you and i have about i have this one i think is a stunted growth or something i don't think it's going to survive i don't know if you can see very small it's just floating around it's being pushed and all that the water need changing i think i'm going to do that tomorrow i'm going to change i'm going to change the water tomorrow you know there is the discharge, the outlet, and all that. You know, it's—I would say it's fun. It's—I hope to make a profit, though. I don't really know what's gonna be like, but but I hope it, it goes well. I'm uh, they are on a two mm feed. I don't know if you can see a uh, two mm feed. Let me see. Yeah. You can see them clustering for food. Let me try and zoom to see. Ah. I love, I really love feeding them though. I really love seeing them eat, you know, seeing them grow. It's, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's amazing. I learned a lot from First Fish Academy though. You know how to feed in, how to carry out my feeding, how to construction of pond, stuff like that. How to, you know, change the water, how to make them grow fast. And I would say some are really, really growing, like really, really growing fast. I need to sort before they eat. They finish eating each other. I'm serious. Like some are really, really growing fast. And well, I hope by three months or thereafter. I would uh, have a, just it's a journey I would uh, love to know go with you guys and you know hope to get your or motivate you in one or two ways you know to have your own fish farm you know start making money try your alternate way 
we have about uh, we started with about 500 uh, in this uh, pond but uh, you know I not necessarily in this but I started with a smaller with a smaller drum I, was, I saw some videos online where people would say uh, when you start with a smaller drum they can accommodate I started with the this this one started with this one this drum right here started with this one but I found out that when they started growing you know they started jump packing each other it was crowded it was this that was when the mortality rate increased like them I have like a day I picked up to six or seven skulls of fish and three dead that they have not eaten like ten died that instant that very day as I experienced lost when when they started growing. At the first week, they didn't take. I didn't see much of a mortality or death or tear after. But, but look, look at that one I was telling you about. It doesn't grow. Look at how small it is. It has a stunted growth. It's just there. Look at others. Look at his mate. <laughs> I would say his mate. But I. I enjoy watching them, you know, watching them grow. I enjoy watching them feed, eat. I hope to one day at least have my own, you know, like the ones I've seen on YouTube, you know, a big uh, fish pond, uh, a land and all that to rear my, but oh, wow, this is a, uh, is actually I'm really happy you know it's it's a journey I'm embarking on I'm really really happy and how far they're going I don't try tomorrow when I sort though I'll have a feel of uh, how many are still remaining in the pond I really don't know how many they are at the moment I really don't know how many they are you know I started with 500 but I don't know if they are up to 400 at the moment I don't know if they are up to 400 at the moment yeah. Well, if you are watching this video for the first time, I would like you to subscribe. You know, click on the subscribe button. You know, follow us for this journey. It's going to be exciting. I'm going to keep you updated on how the feeding are going or how you know everything is going entirely. I'll make a video probably yeah tomorrow on sorting and all that. You know, trying to encourage young entrepreneurs who are just graduating from school. Who are looking for a job who are still waiting for there are things you can do i my camera i don't think it's okay okay it's better here let me leave it here you know you encourage people to go into stuff big thanks to first fish academy though you know i hope to work with you guys one day and uh, yeah i really hope to work with you guys you know in construction of my own fish pond like my very own fish pond from I would like to have a fish pond that will get maybe from hatchery, from the hatchery to the final destination till I sell or till I eat eventually. I love fish if that, <laughs> uh, that's a plus. I would, uh, I hope in three months I'll be having fish pepper soup always <laughs> in my <laughs> house. Uh, come with me guys, let's go back to the pond. One thing about feeding I know is that when you feed them, you allow them to pick, then you feed again. It's a continuous process, you just you feed, you allow them to pick, and when they are done picking, they will stop picking, and they just, you know, you leave, you leave, like you see, you see how they are rushing the feed, yeah, that's the joy when feeding, that's the joy to drive when feeding your fish. You know, they are smart, there are smart fishes in here. I have a couple of smart fish. I was, well, I would say unfortunate not to, you know, start from the hatchery, you know, select my uh, juvenile. You know, as a startup, I would still, I have so many things I have learned from this, and I hope, you know, going forward, I wouldn't make such mistakes, you know, in getting smart fishes from the hatchery, directly from the hatchery. I'd have to settle down and select, you know, find a place and get my fish from a very, very reliable source that have uh, good fishes. But yeah, these this fishes are they're good, they're smart. 
They're agile. They are, they are. They have potentials. This is Viva Video. If this is your first time, I'd like you to click on the subscribe button. And if this video is entertaining enough for you, which I guess it will be, you click on the like button and double click on the subscribe button so that you get any of our videos concerning our fish. Because this is a journey, it's not something we just post once and stop. We keep posting, keep updating you on their growth and how they are going and what we encounter, if there is loss, if there is profit. We're going to keep you updated. Thank you very much.